Hey folks, welcome back to Mountain Core, our town of Noble Axe, and pretty much where we left off, we quickly threw in a water pump up here, which isn't going to get built for a while, but the idea of getting water down and then irrigation channels so we can get our crops to grow a lot faster, so we don't lose a whole season's worth of crops. I have a feeling that the frost is going to come and take a lot of these out, unfortunately. So I have put into the tree, the three trader spots we have built, put hemp seeds in there. We need to put hops and corn and a few others as well. But anyway, they're going to sleep. I need to get this guy going, the forge, which builds tools. He needs blocks. They're none available because they're all going to be assigned to these walls. So unfortunately, I need to... I, I don't know if disab well, disabling them kills them. But I don't know if putting the priority down will cause the game to move those supplies to a higher priority. I think it still drops them in the order of uh, when they were built. So I'm going to eliminate everything but, say, that door. If there's a fire here, it may spread through to these guys, and I don't want to lose all that. But, and so, for that reason, probably leave that door too. But we need to be building, or making stones. There's a whole bunch of blocks over here. But I think they were all assigned. That's right, let's test that. Now we've got 15. Now the six are available. There were zero available before. Traders have arrived. So, six blocks from these walls that had been pre-assigned, just not moved there yet, are now available for this guy. So we need to make as many blocks as we can, but traders are coming, and we have very little to sell. So let's kick up the priorities. We already are. It's just a matter of somebody getting in there and doing it. So shields, planes, rolling pins, and I think there's uh, yeah fishing poles under there which corresponds with this group here that we're selling. Quick, easy things to make out of wood. The wood, well, we do have some wood available now, too. So you are kicked up to the highest. We just need to get people moving items over there. But they are all busy right now, working on getting the last of our gardening or farming done. I did take these trenches that I put in and knocked them to the lowest priority. We don't need to be distracted with that right now. Though in the wintertime, when the ground's frozen, I'm pretty sure they can't dig them either, but... We'll see. Maybe that very last day of autumn we can get in there and do some of this. Um, what I've heard on the Discord, these will water three spaces to each side. So I took out all of the trenches, every other one. No point in surrounding them when this is adequate. So that's saved an awful lot of digging. And we still need to get the the pipes going um pipe view there it is right there so p pipes as we make them they'll fill these in what we didn't get to last time was how to power this thing i'm going to leave it pause for a little bit let's work on power and i want to be able to watch the traders come in so i don't want all that to be running and then get back there by the time i finish this it'll be uh, it'll be time for them to leave so construction power and water so we can power with a water wheel or a windmill one mill takes linen, which we desperately need to make our bed, so I don't want to share it with this, and then planks and blocks. The water wheel takes planks and blocks. We can handle that one. So let's put him in here. I think it's reverse. Yeah. And we're going to have to come out of here with, I guess the best way to think of this is like a rotating shaft. Power. Power? It didn't show me. Let's work it this way. I thought there would be a box or something out of here. Hmm. Maybe we get the power in first and then it'll show up. It's like a, a junction for this guy to mesh into. And then it turns a corner with a bunch of gears and turns a corner with a bunch of gears and then goes into the next device. And placing these properly makes that easier. I'm going to spread this out a little bit and make some room right there. That's a long way away, but... Yeah, we got water flow right there. We'll see if that will do it. I did this once, the game I played before I started this series, and it went down and the gears landed here, and went down and it missed and landed there, and landed, and it, I finally just wiped it all out, had to 
go off to the side and get around to get enough room to make all my turns. It just it, is, it didn't seem to work right. I think there's enough room there to go down, over, and up. And we'll connect these guys together, but I think we got to get this guy built first. It's only four blocks, so I'll go ahead and leave that guy up, say, right there. Maybe this can be built before winter, and then we'll we'll look at the rest of it, and then see if we if that's something that we can build through the winter, or if we have to wait for the ground to thaw, or just what. But this whole place will be covered in snow in four days, so winter messes a lot of things up. The I always forget to say go to when they announce that the traders are here. Last time they came out of here, I am not seeing them. Hmm. Okay, are they coming from over here? They must be coming from long distance, like way down over here. <laughs> there they are, where the deers play. So just one? One cart this time, and one straggler who couldn't squeeze onto the cart. Well, they'll be here eventually. At this rate, they'll be here tomorrow. Okay, so we have eliminated some blocks. We have the blocks turned up high, but we've told everybody to... It's 12.30. Everyone's coming out of here. I did tell them to go pick up their tools, so go pick up your toys. Stop leaving them around. So they're probably doing a lot of that. Oh, we told them last time. Let's get all this stuff in. It won't register that it's even usable until it's in the stockpile. So that's been something that's been fighting us this whole time. So let's just get everything brought in so we can make it official. And I want to get more of these guys out of here. So let's kick the priority up on, say, that group right there. Just to make sure there's enough spaces. 55 is 65 now that I get rid of those, I think. No, currently in use. So it counts those. So there was enough room. Yep, yep there was enough room. Let's take you guys back to like that. Now... 53 of 65. Okay, so that gets the job done. You are one of ours? You are. Inger, carrying a water bucket to go and fill up which one? Filling up that one. The cauldron's ready. Check the priorities on the cauldrons. Get to work on that one, guys. And... Okay, so that space now is higher priority waiting, but really need this guy going. So we need a chef in here. But it's possible... What do we got in here? Ten, ten meals available still. It's possible the chef is out here. Last time we finished the episode with telling everybody to put your farming at your highest priority and see if it's possible to get more of this in. It looks like we got all the... I don't know if that was wheat or barley. It was all the barley in. Which is used... I want to say it's used to make beer or ale. Which we don't even have up functioning yet. The brewery brews beer for your settlers to enjoy. That's a ways away. There is a lot to creating the brewery. We got the traders. Trader is here. Okay. Don't know if he started trading or if he just went to sleep. That looks like what was there before. Well, they did take these three. Yeah, they took everything. They must have sold us something. They sold us some hemp. Okay, so we can get the the weaving. Uh, room going. Tex textiles? Textile workshop going. But I was talking about the brewery. Let's do this real quick. Brewery, there's a mash ton. Good size device. A brew kettle. There is a fermentation tank. There's a lot to this. And a lot of materials to build it. we got to create tanks. Two different tanks to do these guys. Uh, malting station, a third tank. So the tanks are all made here. <laughs> we gotta get this guy going. What are these? Whoa. These are ingots. You don't require ingots. Why are there ingots down here? And over here. Oh, they're just kind of getting scattered. There is... Well, there was something with the game in that... It, um, if there was a job calling for something, they would go to grab the material to take to the job, but if it was blocked or something, then they would just drop it in random places. But I'm pretty sure that got taken care of, so I don't know what the random ingots are here. I think we've got someone just playing a practical joke on us. Okay, so 
yeah, we just don't have much here, unfortunately. What did you guys bring? You brought... I did ask for... Well, I don't know if this was actually on the pallet when they were here last. They will bring what we were asking for last time. We were asking for potatoes, and they brought potatoes. They brought lots of potatoes. We were asking for hemp. They brought that, but they did not bring any... What's it called? Linen. So, unfortunately, it's all we're going to get. But you have dropped off some more. Yeah, somebody must have delivered something. So, next time we'll get hemp seeds. And if we could have these built, <laughs> then we can ask for all the other seeds. Now, you are grabbing that. No, what you doing? You are hauling a sycamore log. Okay. So, we need that to get. Now, we got plenty of planks. Just can't get anybody to do the work. So, what is everybody up to right now? Well, let's kind of look around here. We. Are not delivering anything up there. Okay, we're mostly in this area. So out of curiosity, we're hauling. We're all hauling logs. Did I give a command last episode to go and get all those logs? I did. So let's take you guys back down to normal now. And see what more we can get done here in our, uh, our work area. Maybe we can get back to creating more of these guys in time. We already made two of these. We just got to get them delivered. Okay, that could get us a few more coins and maybe a few more hemp if there's any left. There's three to seven hemp left. At three, six, and maybe that's like one, two. One gold, two silver per. I'm thinking that's the total of the three, but I'm not sure. Hey, we are processing carrots. All right. That is good to see. So we've got carrots being replanted, which we found out last time can, come on, be planted spring, summer, and autumn. So that must mean that they don't get destroyed in the winter if you can plant them in autumn. So I don't think they grow that fast. Where is a carrot plant? Yeah, I doubt that you can, in 10 days, you could get that up to 100. So I don't think it's one per season. So they must be able to survive the winter. But I'm pretty sure these guys don't. I don't think the corn does either. Well, it's trying to look like it. it's getting some fruit on it. Oh, I wish we could. We'll see. There's three days left. We'll see how that goes. Um, priorities, again, keep up the gardening. If we miss some of this trade, that's fine. But I really want to get as much food as we can before winter. This determines, I believe, how much of an immigrant wave we get in the spring. So we need as much going on as we can. Last time we looked at food, we had two and three, was it? Three and four and 16 uh, and nothing else, just, just our rations. So we've got rations left. I don't know if that counts toward immigration since... These, these are on our own dwarves. But they have this many left because we've been feeding them meals. They've not been eating their rations. So that makes sense that it could count toward it. Meaning that food-wise, there is a grand total of 234 food. Hmm. That might... That sounds logical. That might be how it works. Um... We've got the ability to make ingots now. We're throwing them all over the floor. Let's put some lights in. Let's make this, let's light this place up. So lanterns, what do you say we do something like, well, there and there. Just kind of light this area a bit. And the eventual more bedrooms that are coming in. Kind of getting ready for that wave of immigration. Um, wouldn't hurt at nighttime to have something going on here. Maybe one per. So, I guess there, there, and I'm not sure what's happening here. <clears throat> Do we need one in the storage? I guess we need one just for the sake of this video, just to see what's going on so we can see as we're walking around. Okay. And I think mushrooms want to grow in the dark, but I don't know if they're going to know the difference. Let's do that so that we can 
see ourselves what's going on. So this is the one that had been inoculated. We're at 9% now. We're running, yeah. Oh, 75%. So we did get these, these jobs done. Okay, another one over there. Great. So water, four available. So I guess that's four rounds. All right, so that's good. Now we got a few more of these done. You guys are at the highest priority. And you guys are at the highest priority. They're gone. So that's all they bought. So what did that leave us? It left us with eight, nine, ten silver coins. Okay. And again, priorities. This guy needs to be brought back. And... Yep. Yeah. So let's see if that gets done real quick. Yep, just got grabbed it. And, um... Yo. <laughs> okay, that's an issue. There's a, uh, a point of inefficiency in our, our kitchen system. They apparently need to get it to a stockpile before they can get it back into here. Okay, I'm glad I saw that. Um, Stockpile-wise, I can combine, yeah, I can do that. You, stockpile, that is a product stockpile. And you, right there, going to turn off all products except for cauldrons and make you the highest priority. And you, we're going to get rid of cauldrons completely. Okay. So now, when they feel the need to take it to a stockpile first, they can go right there, then they can go right there. Okay. Solve that one. What else is... You need... Yeah, your highest priority is go get you. Someone's going to go do that. You're the only... High priority item to be carried at the moment, though. The carrots apparently need to get over here to run the next soup. Yeah, now you're dropping into place. And hopefully someone... Yep, we're already loading up carrots. And we're thinking about other th things. We threw the water in there. Good. 2.3 available. What else is there for food? Grabbing more meals. Just threw in... I guess that's some more carrots. Another box moving around. You're carrying some mushrooms, it looks like. Ah, you're going to go work under the log, aren't you? Cool. Fun to watch this actually happen. Rather than, you know, staying zoomed out and just see everything as a whole. It's nice to zoom in and see it actually work. She brought that over to this log so that it could be... Uh, uh, inoculated next and then shocked in the shock tank and get that up and going okay so where are we at this point have we been making so only six available we've got to get somebody back into here what's it going to take to do that that i'm guessing is a a stonemason all right our stonemasons right now are probably all farmers also aren't they uh stonemasons let's go this route your second your wood cutting is first Let's move you there, there. You're now a stonemason. No, that's a blacksmith. Never mind. Okay, that didn't help. I clicked the wrong one. Okay, so stonemason, you. Okay. Farming first, farming first, and stonemason last because you're only right there. Hmm. You're actually the one that can do the job the best. It is kind of a waste, isn't it? Okay. You are there. You are there. You are there. And you are there. Okay. So that does work better. And that does get our blocks made. Okay. I want to get this done before there's any chance of any of our last tools getting used for something else. And then there isn't a tool left to make the very bench that makes the tools. That is a danger early game. So be aware of that. We've already got folks sleeping. They're sleeping under their mats. No, nope, nobody in that one. But they like to hide under the leaves. There's somebody in there. There you are. <laughs> I can't wait for the beds to be done. So the hemp that we got. Hemp. What would that be under? It's not products. Is that raw materials? What's raw materials here? Right there. Is hemp in that? No. I'll try products. No. No. There you are, granary. Hemp bundle, one. Well, that's not going to do much. Okay. But I suppose I could at least get it 
built and ready for the next time traders come. Because this hemp is... Yeah, we're at 80%, but we're day 29. Boy, I don't think we're going to get there. You guys are what? Tomatoes, 85%. 81, 75. You guys are hops. You're in the 50s. Corn is in the 60s. And... Carrots, we replanted. They're already getting up close to 10. Maybe that is an every season plant. I don't know. That's a lot of progress in just two days. Hmm. Huh. And clicking on that. Carrots. There's 23 extra carrots. You know what? Carrots seems to be the winner here. I've got to say that. Let's add and get some more carrots growing. And it might not hurt to go ahead and do that too. Get them planted for next spring, or dare I? Just in case planting them at the last day ruins and loses the seeds. Let's take you down to that. And I think let's go ahead and kill these. Okay, so let's not do that. Let's wait until spring and then plant a much bigger harvest. Okay. Reasoning my way through all of this. Do we go and get a deer? I'd have to pull... I guess... Let's make that a winter activity. Which is just a day away. Get probably two set up as hunters. We'll let them brawl with the deer. See what happens. I don't know. Those bucks with their horns. They may, they may still surprise us. But I think we can take deer down. I think think leaves are falling big time they may have been doing that before and i just didn't notice we're the last day of autumn this is really turned red what colors do we have up above more red over there all the aspen aspen are red nothing has happened here four available but zero are assigned okay are there still six available down here, or have we added anything? Four available. So we've used two somewhere else. Okay. You are... We can only hold 16 at a time. For some reason, they're not getting taken to the stockpile, which I put blocks in here, and highest priority. I wonder if this if that's the same problem we had up here when we rebuilt this and suddenly everything started working again. It might not be a bad idea to go ahead and shut this down and rebuild it. Let's let's think about that. If we were to do that, let it run, and then grab a brand new stockpile. Uh, we'll call it raw materials for now. Let's take you garden could go down to here so let's do something like that and something like that okay you are going to be raw materials but specifically you're going to be crushed ore and ore you're going to be uncut gems which is the rocks that have gen gems in them boy we're shredding up that hematite <clears throat> and then we're going to be there was something else. Products. The blocks that come out of here need a place to dump. So I figured that would be the closest place to do it. So once we've done that and set you to the highest priority, do things start to move now? Do these guys leave and go somewhere so that they can then be brought down to here? So let's see how that works. See if the next person that's looking for a job picks this instead. So you're definitely going full bore on this one. But this is just a hauling job, so this shouldn't be that that hard to find someone to do it. We'll see. You are working over here on one of these logs. You are injecting mushroom spawn. So what exactly does that mean? You're on this one. Okay. Progress. So when we get to... Maybe we have to get to 100 and then it goes into the tank. And then there's another wait. Hmm, don't know. But let's get into tomorrow and see if these blocks all start to move. 12 and 4. Let's see if, if that was the uh, 
the obstacle. Again, new game. Still working out all the bugs. So early release is May 18th. Depending on when you're watching this, uh, 2023. <laughs> Maybe someday somebody will be watching these videos out of nostalgia to see what Mountain Core used to be like before all the advances. I see this game as like it was back in the beginning of RimWorld. Do you remember that? RimWorld came out... Boy... I don't know the, the dates. 2013, 14, 15, somewhere in there. And Tynan was working on that, I'm pretty sure, all by himself for quite a while. Just like, I think it's Luke who was working on Banish for years all by himself. So Ross is working on this one, though now he's got some help. But this was his dream. and I see this continuing to grow for years. It's very replayable. The procedural maps are different every time. So it's easy to, you never know what you're going to encounter in the mountain. And so it's easy to replay this over and over again and get a different outcome or a different experience. So I can see this being a game like the beginnings of RimWorld where you just played, you know, game after game after game and just never got bored with it. I think this is going to be one of those kind of games. That's why I jumped in early on the beginning of, of this one. I'm, I'm having a ball with it. Anyway, are we moving blocks? That's what I'm stalling, waiting for. Blocks are here. 12 and 4. Okay, so you are working like crazy, more so than we really need. So let's take you down. Let's take you. You're already down. This is the one that everyone wants to do something with. We have stones. We have boulders. We're just not doing anything with them. Is there a reason for that? The stonemason blacksmith is... Where are you? Oh, I went by it over and over again. Right there. Osmond, you are removing pests from a tomato plant. Because uh, we may have to wait until day 31. Get us into day, first day of winter. No more planting to do, then they'll be available to work on blocks. Maybe I'm just, you know, going against the uh, the tide here and never going to win. Because we do need every last morsel of, <laughs> act, of planting activity eked out of this if we can. So the next round of barley is going in. That was also a spring, summer, fall, um, or autumn planting season. Let's just make sure that they just keep going on these. What? Oh, never mind. I was going to say, who turned that off? I did. That one's not real yet. I feel like my voice is <clears throat> starting to go. It's been a long day. I wasn't going to be doing this series. I wasn't going to be doing all this recording while I'm trying to renovate my house. I've got a major project I'm working on, and I've been able to delay that deadline a little bit so that I could do this. But I just spent the evening in the attic sucking, uh, you know, blown-in insulation dust. So I can I can feel it. It's in here. My voice is kind of scratchy, growly right now. But I wanted to get another episode out. You are still going to town on this thing. All right, let's take this in general. Now there's not a priority system for the. The masonry shop. Oh. Okay. Well, never mind. There isn't one in general. It's just the individual equipment. You're still up there. I thought I turned you down. What did I turn down instead? I don't know. Yeah, they are independent. I'm not changing both by changing one. Huh. Well, we'll watch you for a minute. So you are the... Blacksmith. I'm pretty sure that... Well, does it tell me? Yeah, Blacksmith does that work. So, Osmond, where are you right now? You were... You're Osmond, right? Nope, you're not Osmond. Who is Osmond? Do I know him by sight? Apparently, I do not. You are... Over here. You're eating. Let's see what you do right after you eat your carrot soup. So, soup made out of nothing but carrots. 
Drinking water. Going to sleep. <laughs> okay. We have used some planks, though. I know what I wanted to do. I want to get a... Where do I put it? I want to get a storage area for these four items that are constantly being made to sell and get it somewhere near the trading post. This might be the place to do it. Is that wind? First day of winter. It just shifted over and all that wind noise just happened. I wonder if there's a snowstorm about to come in. Boy, hear the wind? Ah, there it is. Right on time. Yep. Winter knew exactly what day it is supposed to start. Now, are we going to start seeing plants dying and vanishing on us? I can see the green turning whiter. Oh, something that just happened there. No, the the uh, the dirt plots are turning white. Okay. So a certain depth of snow, will that take out the plants? We don't have any sense of temperature, do we? We just have the weather forecast, cold winds. Okay, still have some leaves falling. So maybe we've got a one day or two days of grace in that we're still going to be working on plants a little bit. Maybe pull a few more morsels of food out of this in time. Let's get you guys going. Do we have any meals? We have no meals. Come on, guys. Get those going. We don't want to be using any more of our rock bread. Now, they might go in and just eat a raw carrot. I think I've seen that happen before. But I'm pretty sure the carrots will go a lot further if we can put them in a soup. So I'm looking to see if any plants are vanishing. Remember in RimWorld how the plants will uh, just start disappearing right there in the, in the fields. Curious to see what's going to happen here. So far it's stable. Your tomatoes, you're 95%. 96%. Come on, go. Now, out of curiosity, can we... Let's do this one. I can't. Okay. Let's get into that window. Oh, the... Okay, so ditching doesn't show up here. So let's go to building... No. Power. Irrigation. Okay. Okay. I, how do you prioritize that? Oh, you do it from the priority window. That's what I missed. Okay. So if I were to prioritize these two, can I still do this in the snow? <clears throat> uh oh. Tomato plant. 100% harvest. They all turn dark, and I can't prioritize it. I wonder if that means they all just died. Progress toward harvest 100%. Maybe if we get a break in the snow. I'm, I'm learning, too, how the farming works when you're desperate for food. And the snow comes in. We're still day one. Snow flurries. Is there any chance we can get these tomatoes off these plants still? Hmm. It's not looking like it. Okay, they're going to bed. We'll see what the weather gives us tomorrow. You guys are corn. They're all marked at 100%. I'm pretty sure that means that they all just ended. But I would like to be surprised. The Carrots are not affected. Barley's not affected. Wheat is not affected. The ones that you can plant in autumn are not affected. You guys are hops. Progress toward harvest zero, like these all just died. Potatoes can be planted in the autumn, so they're still growing like normal. Okay, so certain plants apparently are not affected. 
but is there any chance we can still get tomatoes? Let's see if we get a little bit of a warm spell here in the middle of winter. Just a, a random warmish day and see if suddenly they can go in there and, and plow and, and, and do that work. We've got the ability to do something in there. Okay, keep these up. Get that going. All right, cauldrons, move them. Move them, guys, move them. Let's get some more meals made. And those that are not working on gardening. Yeah, we are still doing it. He went in there and did that. Who is that? Osmond. <clears throat> what is it they're actually doing? They're getting rid of pests. Okay. So we're still taking care of them. And you are still marked at 100. Huh. I don't know. We'll see what that means. It could simply mean that no matter what it says, once we hit winter, there's no more harvesting. That's yeah, possible. What are you? You are an irrigation channel. <clears throat> so they can be dug in the winter. Okay. Oh, oh, that's what I was worried about. They finally got to a point where they're dying out. All right, so we need corn to be brought next time, but not planted until we have irrigation. Seeds, corn. We need hemp, which is there. We need the rest of these built. Okay, so gardening is pretty much done. What else is happening priority-wise? Nothing. We're done. Can we go ahead and dig this for next time? Maybe. And for that matter, can we lay out tiles? No, we cannot lay out tiles. So apparently we can still work with what was already laid out, but we can't lay out new ones until it thaws. That must be the gateway for working in the winter on gardening. All right, so once all that is done, is this Osmond? This is not. Osmond, where are you right now? Right there. You are tilling the earth. So when there's no more gardening to do, I I need you to get back. Let's just do that. You're no longer a farmer. Okay, I need to know what it's going to take to get you down here to be a stonemason. Drinking water. Your happiness is pretty good. You made a nicely prepared meal. Oh, we got carrot soup out there again. You're going to sleep. We'll follow Osmond tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so what else do we need to think about doing? Osmond, unfortunately, also mines. I was going to set up some mining jobs, but I don't want to tempt him. So what else would a stonemason do? A stonemason might be the one that builds the stone doors. In which case, there's two doors that could distract him. There is this job which might be a stone mason dealing with this, but there's a lot of wood. I can still be a carpenter. I don't know. And there's this, which I would think would be built by a stone mason. But I need to get him into here. And who looks like Osmond? None of you guys do. Osmond, that is not new. No. Osmond, where did you sneak off to? There you are. You're hauling two iron ingots. Let's see where you're hiring, hauling them to. Oh, that's lamps. So you're still not doing your stonemason work. I wouldn't think stonemasons would build lamps. That's two iron ingots to everything. So you're doing this job. So what is stopping this job? What is causing this? Something has to be. We have the, what do you call them, boulders, ready to go. We have a place to put it. Let's call for a new place. Let's, we have another export pallet. Let's make you blocks also and see if that suddenly opens up a new slot to put them. In which case, Osmond is delivering. Osmond. 
no, now he's eating. Then he's going to go drink. And he might take a nap. Boy, these dwarves, I tell you. <laughs> it's entertaining, though. Yeah, he's, he's going to eat some carrot soup. He's going to go haul two ingots. He will not... Oh, somebody else did. You have got stone masonry at the very end, and you went to go to work. So you needed a new place to put it. Because for some reason, we do not want to dump these. And I don't know what that reason is. We're going to get 16 new ones, which should be adding to these available. And we just stole two of them. Where do we steal two of them? Didn't go to a door. Are there any other doors or projects waiting to be built? None that I know of. No, none of these have doors. No doors over here. Well, we've got this guy. Ah, that's probably what just two are assigned. Yeah, that, that job was before all of these. So that's probably the order that they're going to do. I, but I see we are... Yeah, we're getting to work. We got moving again. So giving a new space to dump off blocks seemed to kickstart the cycle again. And we grabbed two of these so we can put two more in there. Hmm. Okay. Well, smeltering or smelting. I think that's the way to put it. Smelting, yeah. Is has been going great the whole time. This thing every time I looked over here, he's been running. So we're making lots of ingots. We probably should start making lots of plates, too. I'm guessing plates go into armor. I know they go into this pump over here. Uh, what else? A lot of the brewing goes in, uh, deals with plates and tanks. Yeah. So we got tanks to deal with also. You are the export pallet. So we can build tanks here. We can build cauldrons, which I want to make two more. And all of our tools, all of our metal tools, our anvils, our barrel hoops for making chests and buckets and barrels and whatnot. And metal iron or arrowheads are built here. So, yeah, it's important that we get these things going. So we're starting to get these built. I think we're going to be getting... Oh, there we go. We now have enough blocks to get going. Um, doesn't say what kind that is. I see, that's the oh, slate. Hmm. Okay. Okay, this is what I was talking about. If we got a warm spell during the winter. Pouring rain. Is there a chance that we can start harvesting again? I'm not getting any arrows showing me that there's work to do. So it's probably just turned off as long as it's called winter. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. But I wonder if I could get the carrots assigned. Ah, there we go. Ground's not frozen. Okay, so these guys have no extra seeds. We have one extra corn seed. <laughs> One seed. We might get an ear of corn next year. Yeah. We got more of these built? We have not. I want to get those in before the next trader arrives. So you are hops. Don't want to make of that. This just says there's nothing there. This still calls it hops. Even though we lost the plants, apparently we've still got the stalks. Hmm. And I suppose we could go ahead and get the irrigation ditch going. I wonder if it could fill up with rain. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, let's try that. Priorities. Let's make... Now yeah, we'll go to normal priority. So it won't override our block making. Just like so. And we'll say let's get some of those uh, pipes in if we get them made. So do we set pipes? Pipes are coming out of here and we've been needing to get blocks. So let's get this guy built first. So I just saw... Oh, that's to get these guys put away. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So these ingots that are just laying around. Get them 
get them put away. Okay. So it is winter. I kicked around the idea of sending somebody out to go punch a deer and see if that could be done. Nearest deer is probably these guys. Let's go down. We've got wild boars there. That's a permanent, there's no pathway through there. So we've got deer over here and here. I think these are, I think they're the closest. So who would we send? Uh, there. <clears throat> and I'd say first thing tomorrow morning, we'll give that a try. Um, just watching how things are progressing here. If we get two more cauldrons going, that one just finished, then we could have two waiting and this long pause in between will no longer happen. Oh, look at that. We have progress. It just takes half a season to make it happen. Uh, actually, a full season. It was day 25. When we, it was probably day 15 when we set this up. <laughs> okay, you got to be able to laugh. <laughs> they are entertaining. The Saga of Noble Axe. All right, so once that gets built, then I can put all of our walls and doors back in and not worry about that commitment. So we're at four speed. And food now is 215. Um, we calmed down fishing. We did. All right, so those that used to be farmers. Fishing is here. How about for the winter, you become a fisher, and you become a fisher. And you guys go bring in as much fish as possible. That will count toward our food total. Okay, that's good. So we, it looks like we, we're not ready to be able to depend on mushrooms. So that's that. And then who? Our chef, our fishers, our blocks. Who dare we make a hunter I'd say well leave one chef we'll make you military you're a novice brawler and you're going to use your fists this time level 30 after a deer instead of level 1 see if that makes a difference and I want one more. I want someone to back you up. I'm thinking it's here. And brawler. Okay. You're sleeping. I didn't wake you up, did it? No, I don't think so. And get you running. And let's set a target. Though I don't know if it'll disturb their sleep. You are our military. You are not. There, both our military are up. Let's let them, what, drinking water and hauling an iron axe. Oh, you're putting your axe away because I told you not to use it. Let's see if you can get a drink of water and a meal. In which case, afterwards I'll send you out. I'll go pick some targets. And we'll watch that happen. Drinking. And weapon training which there isn't any, so idling. Okay, so let's go play with the deer, where the deer and the wild boars play. Military, target, attack. Attack you. There's less horns over there. Let's see what happens. If that's successful, then we'll do the other one as well. And if we take some animals out, will the map restore them with other animals and will they land in a random place maybe closer anything happen over here that I'm not aware of more elephants more wild boars the ones that just about killed us last time and nothing is across the river now all right so that's not helpful but where are you guys you're now 
coming through the woods. Someone's moving. Wild boars. Are you even coming? Where's our military? <laughs> you guys, where are you? Ah, there you are. Okay. So, <clears throat> so you got a ways to go. What's happening here while we're waiting? We... Still waiting to get this built. We need fuel. We have fuel. Coke. We can't get it here because it hasn't been dropped into a stockpile. That could be. We're finally putting blocks over here. So let's add fuel to that stockpile. Okay. Maybe that will happen now. Drinking water. Okay. Who is... You're drinking water. Let's get you finished. And now you are hauling two oaken planks. So let's see what you're going to do next. Meanwhile, let's go see where we're at. You are cooking soup. Okay. Anyway, let's watch the, the great battle of the... Oh, this one, I think... Did you just aggro? You did not. Okay. Are you guys going to aggro? You are now lit up. No, oh, that's because I clicked on you. Oh, and it happened. And it's done. Wow. Dare I try a wild boar again? Now that we have a 30 in our attack skill level. I don't think so. But let's do one more of these. Attack this guy. Oh, good. I was worried that they would go all the way back and then come back here again. Alright, so you're going in. Let's see if the stag is a whole different uh, level of difficulty. Alright, this is it. No, oh, we've danced past each other again. Boom. I think the stag took a swing at us. Not injured. Not injured. Stag fleeing from combat. This could be a long walk. Okay, you, can I prioritize you? I can. Let's get a cook out there or a hauler and get you into the stockpile so you can be butchered. Guys, fleeing from combat? Dudes! Um, undraft? Redraft? Do you, are you still fleeing? That didn't help, you're still fleeing. Okay. Now you're idling. In combat. In combat. Alright, try it again. And now you're fleeing. This could take a while. They seem to cycle back and forth between fleeing and idling and eating. But you would eat your rock bread rash. No. They're going to go home and eat. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could click on you and say, hey, on the way in, can you carry this guy? But I don't have that kind of control. Okay, you're off to get him. Hauling the deer, the fisher. Mm-hmm. Okay. And otherwise, what's been happening over here? We still don't have this built. We still need fuel. Fuel is sitting over here. And I don't know how to get it out of Oh, we need it from here. This has already been assigned to use in the smelter. It's here that we make it. Let's do that. We still have 15 coal to turn into fuel. So it's these that are going to get taken to the new place of right there. Okay. <clears throat> Let that one run. You guys are going to bed. Priorities. Make sure these guys are up. Let's get that one done. And you are a lamp. It looks like you're built, but you're not. Oh, my mouse is in the way. Okay, so you're still waiting to be built. And that hasn't depleted our tin, has it? Our tin, our ingots. still have a pile of them sitting here. And we have... Another 18 and another 12 and another 14. So we're good. Plenty of ingots to make tools with and cauldrons. If we can ever get this going. Um, snowing again. 
Our military is where at the moment? Now, military sleep down here in the barracks, which is good that I set this up, or they would probably just crash on the ground out there in the woods and really been cranky tomorrow sleeping in the snow. Already you don't like sleeping in the rough stone, but I heard something about the military are not affected by happiness. That was kind of a, a workaround to make sure that you actually have a military when you need them. So maybe eventually that will change, but that's one of the benefits of being military is that happiness isn't a thing. They can sleep on the ground and still be functional, but they don't do any of the work. So to make them, I don't know if you can, you can kind of nerf things by taking somebody who's really unhappy, making a military for a while and resetting them and he'll start from scratch. Don't know if that's a thing or not. It didn't come from me if it is. <laughs> I just think that way sometimes. <laughs> All right. You are highest priority and the military are still there. Okay, so you're getting your sleep up. You're not quite there yet. Probably came in late at night. All right, coal is being dropped off. Waiting for someone to start firing this guy up again. Anything I'm missing for that? I need you up there too. That will, if we're calling for this, then they'll use the stove. That's my reasoning there. Dropping off, moving. You grabbed, oh, you grabbed the the jewels, the gems, and you're dropping them off in there. Okay, stones are still coming out and getting taken up there, which is too far away from doing this. I got to think about that last time. So where would we bring some stones? I mean, maybe just another something right here. Let's do that real quick. You, raw materials, another something like, well, I hate to cross their path with it. Let's go wide like that. Okay, so you are going to be highest priority of nothing but boulders. If you're the highest priority and you are the normal priority, then we should be able to get a bunch of them brought back down into here. But, and will it transfer that highest priority? No. I'll just put normal priority on them. You're dropping off. Let's get a couple of those done quicker. And you guys as well. There's six of them to come down to be closer to this area when this actually gets working. Um, there's our hunters. Okay. I think. Military. Military. Yep. Yeah. So you guys are off after that stag one more time. So two days lost in product productivity in order to bring in the meat. Speaking of, whatever happened. Right there, deer meat. So we probably have a deer carrot soup coming with a little um, fist mushroom on the side. <laughs> You are the highest priority. That's why you got butchered so quickly. Fishing. Did fishing ever continue? Is fishing a thing in the winter? Have I made a mistake on that? You are hauling a stone boulder. Are there any fishing poles? That could be the problem. There could be no fishing poles in a stockpile. Okay, then. Let's think hard about that stockpile idea. They're coming out of here. There's no easy way to get over here. I haven't left any pathways. We could pathway into here. And I suppose into here. Otherwise, it's probably into there. And then into here to get them delivered easily into the trading post. Otherwise we could connect this and as long as we're not more than six wide make a nice little stockpile area right here. Okay and as far as doing something with that let's prioritize oh probably let's do that again gotta click it down here first before you click into there let's get a pathway in and give us a stockpile like that and a pathway out. 
I'll do that first. So let's get that going. Get, uh, here we go. We are after him. We run past him. We're going to try it again. Boom. Nope, nope. Chase him again. Are we dark again already? Boy, such a hunting long distance is not good. You are in combat with a stag. You are fleeing from combat. You're eating. Yeah, I think this isn't going to happen. Let's... Where's our other military? Eating, eating. You're already, you've already left. Okay. I think this is not going to happen right now. We're just too far away. Though I am curious whether or not they can take down a wild boar with their fists. I think the wild boar tusks harmed us so quickly because we don't have any armor. That's probably foolish to even think about it. Military, let's turn you off. Let's turn you off. Now instant back to happiness negative five. So it didn't clear out her negatives. So, no, there isn't a, a cheat, a workaround by doing that. Okay. So, you are no longer a target. And we no longer have any military. Alright. Back over here. You are... What did I say Cassiterite is? That was iron, right? You... Right there, you are tin. So tin ingots. Hmm. You are a tin lantern. And you're going to start mining. You are not one of the ones that were in military. So you just woke up from a good night's sleep. Okay. At 2.30 in the morning. Interesting. So get this area made. And let's immediately call it a stockpile. Let's try that again. Stockpile choose products. There we go. And you are just these certain things. Um, actually, they're tools. I think they're tools. So, tools, you are <clears throat> the fishing rod, the plane, the rolling pin, and we're also making shields right there. So you can all go in, in that space. Plus, let's build you out to there. And let's get these moved out of here. We don't have space for them anymore. Okay. So we've got four spaces available for, for blocks or for storage. Maybe enough to get this. Oh, priority. Highest priority. Enough to get this guy out of the stockpile and then into a fisher person's hand to maybe go fishing. Otherwise, nobody is fishing. So I don't know if they're not fishing because they don't have fishing poles or if they're not fishing because it is winter. You, hauling a rough stone boulder. Okay, that didn't help. All right, you, plus you're this whole area now. You're hauling these boulders. No, nope, you're holding that boulder. Um, priorities. No, nope, none of them are available. But we do have spaces to get these cleared out one time. Which will tell us if that has anything to do with it. Food-wise, we are now at 210. It's not looking good for a good migration because I can't get much meat in. Can't get any fish in. And crops are done. So we can't get any more mushrooms in. 31%. It's going to be, yeah, winter's going to be done by the time that happens. Now, it may be that the carrots can continue. Wheat I can't do much with. We don't have the bakery up and going. Potato plants may pop early. Ooh, okay. Carrots, 24%. Barley doesn't help us. So it really comes down to carrots and potatoes. And the potatoes are, are still growing. Are they actually growing or are they just stagnant? So 87, 8. I'll try and leave that on the screen for a while. See if that moves up at all. I have a feeling they're just stagnant. So, oh, we made Coke. We made Coke and we're delivering it. So 87.8, still there. 
you are done. It's just a matter of someone building it now. So is anybody going to get the order before you go to sleep? Doesn't look like it. Okay, food-wise, priorities, we're still good. There's no gardening priorities. Nothing else to trigger. And they have only made two more irrigation channels. <laughs> uh, that's fine. But it would be nice if the snow could melt into them and fill them up. But that's probably not a thing. Where am I at right now? I'm over an hour. Okay, I think it's probably time to wrap this up soon. Anything we're looking for, let's wait for this to happen. Then we'll call this episode done. Though it may be a day before I get this edited. It's late tonight, so I won't be doing it today. You are dropping off barrel staves. Tools, fishing rods, but it did put products in there. Okay, so we get rid of the products. So these guys could now leave. Now, who's going to build this? Who's going to do it? We have two more workers available now that we're not also um, hunting. Just notice our fun golem is still here. He's grayer than I remember. That feels like Rot, but I know Rot isn't here in the game yet. But he won't butcher. I don't know why that is. I don't get to choose what to butcher. He froze and everything went quiet. I thought the game just froze, but he's idling. Sculpting a forge. A blacksmith is sculpting a forge. That's the command, huh? Not constructing a forge. Interesting. Sculpting. Like a pottery thing, right? <clears throat> Boom. Okay. Yeah, that works. So, we're here. And we can now make... Let's click on this guy. Crafting. So, with ingots, we can make anvils, arrowheads, axe, three hoops, cauldron. We want to do that first. And all of these tools. So, eventually, I'd like to get... You know, two, the plates needed for the tanks. I like to get two or three more of all the different kinds of tools, which means a lot of micromanaging to me. I'm, I still haven't taken the time to really learn the uh, limit system here. I think it has to do with a total... Have, cause let's try it. I want four cauldrons. And I'm pretty sure it takes into account the number of cauldrons we already have. Where would cauldrons be? I think that's products. Hmm. Tools? I don't know how many cauldrons we already have. Well, I would think it'd be right here. But it's not. Maybe because they're, they've been built into something. So they're no longer loose in the game. Okay. In that case, we want to have a limit of two cauldrons. But I still don't know what that means. I still have to manually pick. Well, to make it, we need ingots. And we're going to need plates over here. Though some things ask for wood, too. So let's get a third input going. Import. I guess you just go right there. And then output. We want cauldron. And I suppose brewing should be a thing soon. So let's go ahead and get some tanks going. We don't have a direct need for more uh, tools at the moment. But now we have the ability to do it. That was the rush. To achieve the ability to do it. And now that that's done, before we turn this episode off, let's throw these walls back in. Um, I could choose exactly which kind, but ah, it'll happen. You, walls there as well. And doors there, 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 and there. 
Okay, that's going to call for a lot of our materials. Let's get this turned up. And Cauldron, let's make you a high priority and you a high priority. Maybe next time we get to see that work. So is that it for this episode? I think so. I wanted to put all the doors in, but let's get these walls built first before we have a fire. Now that we're actually playing with fire over here, I don't want a fire to spread between these two. So walls first and doors, and then we'll get back to construction over here. Um, two days left and we hit spring. And then hopefully the potatoes will continue. Don't know which plant I actually... There, the 87.8. So yeah, they're stagnant right now. But uh, hopefully the potatoes will continue from this and we'll get a big harvest of potatoes right at the beginning of spring, kicking that number back up into the 300s and we'll see what that does for us. So I'm going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye.